The apple of sin is where man is born, and where all the bad apples go back to again and again with their ever desiring hearts. To be desirous and thus desired is to literally lose the sovereignty of your individual mental crown and the rule over your own kingdom or kingdom of the mind. So, why the apple of sin? Here it is in the words. Malus is a Latin noun for mast, pole, staff, and apple tree, as well as an adjective meaning bad, evil, wicked, ill, and harmful. A mast is a long pole rising from the deck of a ship, or a phallus, that is also denoted by the Latin word glans, literally translated as acorn, beech nut, chestnut, mast, and also the Latin arbor, for tree. The translated Latin synonyms for the English word mast are malus, arbor, and glans. We all certainly know that the apple does not fall far from the tree, especially when the newborn body ship reaches the harbor. Glands, it should be known, are the cone-shaped vascular parts of the body that shape the end of a penis or clitoris, indicating through the language connections that the apple of sin definitively has to do with sexual reproduction. The glands are the channels of reproduction, to channel the bodily fluid that comes from the mast of the acorn, from the Latin glans. And an acorn is definitionally the nut of the oak. An oak, to be certain, is any of the genus of trees related to the chest and beech nut, because that is where the X chromosome has always marked the spot, the hidden treasure chest on the beech. A beech nut is triangular, a three-sided seed, and is etymologically derived from the Germanic Buchra, and is related to the German Buchen, wherewith we have consummated ourselves with the commonly exercised English term book and more phallic symbolism, seeing that the German Buchen means book and post. That is to say, a potentially new book that is created by two associative partners dividing their energy to propagate a third party that will carry on his or her own story due to the sapping of the parental energy from the male or male post and into the female box in the successive genus of this existence. The mighty oak has fallen. <laughs>